CQ, Hotel Lima 1, Zulu, India, X-Ray. Oh, that's some pretty nasty noise, isn't it? We're on 40 meters now. Hey, that sounds a bit better, doesn't it? Welcome to my shack. I'm HL1ZIX. My name is Derek, and I'd like to talk to you about my main radio today, which is the Yezu Fox Tango DX3000. Specifically, we're going to look at the noise blanker feature. So I've got my Yezu manual handy here. Let's take a look at it, dig into it, and see what we can learn about it. Well, it's a hot, humid day here in Seoul. It's the middle of the rainy season, so I'm sweating if you haven't noticed that. Um, don't have the air conditioner on, trying to save a little bit of money. But we're taking a look at the uh, 40 meter band here with the FTDX 3000. And you can see we've got a bit of noise there going on. It's from a radar or something, probably military, who knows. We get this uh, coming through here quite often. So something that's useful is the noise, bl noise blanking feature. And um, Yezu talks about this on page 51 in the FTDX 3000 manual. And uh, there are actually two levels to the noise blanker. There's a level one, and uh, the second level is called NBW, or Noise Blanker Wide, I believe it's called. And um, the NB menu, which I'll put it on now, if I click the NB button for Noise Blanker, you can see it changed to NB on. That is actually for short duration pulse noise from switching transients, automobile ignitions, and power lines, supposedly. And then there's another mode, if you click it again, you'll see it change to NBW, and that's the one which tends to work better on this signal anyway. So let me turn it off, and you hear it going. It's the buzz saw sound, right? Probably along with a few motorcycles outside my window. Let's go ahead and noise blanker one helps a little bit, but NBW, hey, that cleaned it up pretty well. Now, there's more to this than you know. This is for longer duration man-made pulse noise, the NBW. So if I long press on this NB button, and this is a secret with the FTDX3000, when you long press something, it automatically goes to the menu, uh, the, the correct menu space. So you can get around with the FTDX3000 a lot more easily if you just long press on whatever button you need and that will take you right to the menu instead of having to hold on menu and then search through and find where it is. So right now I have it on level 37 and if I select it and I turn my clarifier knob you can't see it but on the right side that changes the speed at which it's trying to clear that noise out. So you basically are turning around until you find a right number for it. About there, 37 or so. That seemed to clear it up the most, okay? And if we're, if we're happy around that number, around like 40, 37, we just hit select again and then go out of the menu. And there we are. Now we can try that with NB. I'll select, whoops, don't need to do that. Long press on NB. And now it's the same number, actually, it's 40. But we're gonna to have to adjust. And I'm not finding anything, right? Yeah, there's nothing on the NB level that's helping me. But I remember now, let will go back to about 40. Select it, and I'll go to NBW. There, and that's the one that worked for that particular noise. So that's basically how you set and you can adjust the noise blanker. It's uh, very easy to use once you've done it. Uh, just a note in the Yezu manual that says the noise blanker operation will be, rem will be remembered and memorized independently on each VFO stack of the VFO A and VFO B. The noise blanker level is the same for both VFO A and VFO B. That is the clarifier knob, and again, if I long press, select, I'm turning it there, okay? That's where I'm turning the knob. 
So you can hear that adjustment happening in there with the noise blanker. Okay, close enough. So thanks for joining me today, and if you liked this video, please hit that like button, and also subscribe if you would like to see some more future videos related to the FDDX3000 and other radios like the Kenwood TS480SAT. I've enjoyed this, and uh, I'll be putting up some future videos related to things like the uh, receive antenna port on the FDDX3000, uh, the noise reduction features, and other tips and tricks that I've learned in operating to reach better DX with the FTDX3000. You can also see my blog called The Stingy Ham. If you just type in Google The Stingy Ham, all one word, you can search and find my blog, which has tips on other radios too, like the ICOM 7300. Thank you very much for joining me, and good luck, and we'll see you on the air.